What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Magma Bait Cutting Board that you can stick in a rod holder. We have been using this thing for over a year now and I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of it so you guys can know exactly what you're getting into if you opt to buy this board. So without further ado, let's get into the video. If you guys are new here, my name is Nick. I do a bunch of videos on not only fishing, but how-to videos and gear reviews like the one today. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing and I would super appreciate it. So this magma cutting board is something that we got on the Sea Hunt Gamefish 25. The Gamefish does have a cutting board on the back of the transom. However, we didn't really want to be cutting stuff on that because it was part of the boat. Did some searching on Amazon found this magma board and it had really good reviews so we ended up getting it and so far it has been pretty amazing so first things first let me go over the dimensions of the board the one i have in front of me is actually 20 inches long but the one that we have on the sea hunt is actually 31 inches long that is one of the cool things about it is it does have a built-in fish ruler here so if you do catch a fish you're able to measure it that is one cool thing that i like um, however, I will warn you, if you have this on your gunnel, please be very careful when you're measuring fish because I have lost a few fish over the side of the gunnel while I'm measuring. Another cool thing is that it has a few places where you can store your fillet knives when you're trying to cut up bait. It's got two places here. It's got one on this side, one on this side. It also has two slots here that you can stick your knives in. However, Depending upon the length of the knife, you gotta be careful because it could go into the gunnel, so just keep that in mind. And lastly, it does have a little hole here for your pliers, so it's really a one-stop bait station. Anything that you are going to be using to prepare bait or your rigs, which is a one reason why we really enjoy it. Another thing is it has the drainage all the way along the back. Now on the larger board, it actually has two drainage holes, which is really nice whenever you're wanting to rinse it off. You can just spray the water here and it will drain off the back into the actual water, not all onto your boat. One of the most important parts about this particular bait cutting board is the actual fact that it can store in a rod holder. Now, a couple important things about this. One, it actually has the grooves right here. So whenever you stick it into a rod holder, it is not going to be pivoting around, which is super important, especially when you are cutting bait on it or you are um, underway while traveling, it doesn't have any move. Uh, another thing is because it's on a ball head, once you stick it in the rod holder, even if it's an angled rod holder, you can actually level it out. So for instance, on the game fish, we are sticking it in a 45 degree rod holder. What we have to do is stick it in at an angle and then it will actually level out, which again is super nice. The other cool thing about that is you can actually angle it backwards a little bit. That way when you are cutting bait and rinsing it off, the water and the bait and the nasty squid juice won't come forward onto your boat. It'll actually drain out the back. So that's another really cool thing about it. This part of it, the engineering that they have, they call it the leave lock or the level lock, I'm not sure. But once you tighten this in, ah, it is sturdy. You cannot budge this thing. We have been in three to four foot waves, 15, 20 mile an hour winds, and this thing is just as solid as a rock. Whenever you're buying something like this that you are going to use and abuse, you want it to be able to last. You want it to be able to continue to work for you over the years. And so far, because of how the design is built, it is very sturdy, it's very solid, and we haven't had any issues with it at all. Now, another awesome attribute about the Magma product is it is made out of a polyethylene material, which is FDA approved for food cutting, but more importantly, it is virtually indestructible. I mean, this is a very durable material. Like I said, we have been using the one on the Game Fish for over a year, and you can hardly even tell that it is used. Aside from some minor scratches in the actual cutting board, uh, really, it cleans super awesome. Whenever you rinse it down and give it a little bit of scrubbing, uh, it really looks like it's brand new. I mean, this one has been used as well, but as you can see, um, I mean, all I did was spray it down with water and wipe it down with a rag, and it looks pretty much like I've never used it. So that's another really great thing about it. It cleans up super easy. 
uh, another one of those important factors when you are fishing and have a lot of nasty bait you can be assured that this is going to clean up really well you won't have to worry about it so I know I've said a lot of good things about it but I will say one of the cons about having this as a rod holder bait cutting station is the fact that it is going to be taking up one of your rod holders on the sea hunt that we fish it actually only has four rod holders from the factory in the back and because this does take up one of those rod holders kind of limits our ability for rod storage for trolling things like that so it's another thing to take into consideration depending upon how many rods you bring when you go fishing and what your actual fishing setup looks like you want to just make sure you understand that this is obviously going to be taking up one of your rod holders so just keep that in mind but other than that that is really the only con that i have experienced personally now they do sell these to where you don't have to put in a rod holder you can just you can actually mount it to the boat if you want to go that route i would highly recommend the magma product because of just how durable it is um, the fact that it does have a fish ruler is really cool and also just it has quite a bit of storage areas for your equipment which is really important on a boat storage is a huge thing and this will actually help you with your storage if you have any issues with it so again thank you guys so much for watching if you do have any other questions about this particular product let me know down in the comments i'll be sure to answer those questions for you and if you do want to see more gear reviews like this hit that subscribe button because i'll be doing more gear reviews like this in the future again thank you so much for watching until the next video i hope you're able to get out and catch some fish